Good morning, so this is uh, Scott, it's October the 3rd, and it's 7.07 uh, a.m., and yesterday we, we talked about napping, I don't know how we got on the subject, but anyway, we did, and so uh, posted on Facebook yesterday, and we got a lot of good comments, um, Trish Mendenhall said, uh, good morning, Mr. Townsend, thank you for the wonderful shout out this morning, right back at you from Denver International Airport. As I sit waiting on my plane to Texas, I am pondering her thoughts on napping, I would agree wholeheartedly that a daily power nap of 15 to 20 minutes does increase my ability to focus and be more productive. When I saw a book on the necessity of sleep and what it actually does for the body, it looks like a must read. I will get you the title. Have an excellent day. And she follows up with uh, the book is called Dreamland by David K. Randall. She says as soon as she downloads the sample, she'll let us know what she thinks. And of course, Jay. Stump weighed in and said, I thought about napping all day. That's all I wanted to do all day. Where'd he go, Jay? And uh, Nancy Gillum said she's a big fan of napping 20 minutes every day. So it looks like a lot of people um, take advantage of napping in some way or another to stay productive and healthy. So if you have any other comments, questions, let us know. I'm not an expert on napping, but it seems like a topic that people like to talk about. And then yesterday I told you I'd let you know about the, there was, Square, there was some kind of bonus on my next check-in, so I checked in this morning, and uh, I guess the bonus was, I got a three-point bonus for being, that's 20 straight days at Starbucks, an all-time high. So, anyway, Foursquare's kind of fun. Here's what the screen looked like. I know it's backwards, but... And uh, no special birthdays, really, to mention. Kind of a quiet morning. So, have a great week. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.